kind of really going with this, but with a fun one that I'm bringing in. We hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What I'm feeling for you in the pre-shuffle, Scorpio, is that you have come into the realization of something that is quite significant in your life. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, nine of nine of pentacles, nine of presents, eight of presents world and the four of candles there you are Sagittarius temperance queen of cups two of cups ace of cups wow Scorpio this is some intense energy Seven of presents. So, got the king of swords on the bottom. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And a tower is your overall energy. Like I said, I feel like you're coming into the realization of something here that's quite significant in your life. And it's pretty important. It has something to do with your money and your work. Something may have come to an end because of com competition and gossip. Let's see. Yeah. You just got a message about that from the King of Cups. The world is clarified by the world and the two of swords. So Scorpio, this realization is coming quick. All right, eight of wands, king of king of cups. This this must have just happened because this is a re recent past. This is the present. This is the future. So this could be you who got a message about your money. Somebody has been spying on you with this Eight of Presents. And with the Aquarius here, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, I see something, a wish being granted, whatever this message was. And the world clarified by the world and the Two of Swords tells me that this is a serious shakeup for you. This is something that was in the past that's coming back full circle, full force. And I think this is the female in this card is you. Or you've come to the realization about someone else and the man is you trying to not let somebody go who is terrified of this situation. And they, they can't see the way forward, so they're, they're very scared of this connection. This is a love reading. They're scared because of the competition but they see this, I want to say not a child, but um, it's like a childish love of somebody from their past. Could be a Leo, okay? Because Scorpio, so we have Scorpio out here several times. Knight of Wands on the end of the deck. So this is somebody that you might have just like had a one night stand with. 
and you're realizing that it's really love. Wow. You're looking at this Queen of Cups. You're making a judgment call. Even if you're scared. Uh-oh. Somebody's trying to get tricky with this Two of Cups energy. Don't do that, Scorpio. Don't do that. Competition again, five of wands. Someone is, and, and this could be you that's getting manipulated because you take what resonates, you can flip flop the energy cross watchers. So this could be a cross watchers energy as much as it could be yours, Scorpio. There is a brand new beginning in love here for you with a king of wands. There's Leo up there. So, but that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay. Temperance is clarified by the four of swords, the two of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Someone here is trying to get their finances in order. They're trying to even things out and get their finances in order. I feel like that's what's going on right now. They're trying to be comfortable in their life because they've made a judgment call to come forward. Entrepreneurial energy. They're coming forward. They're putting all their, their life together so they can move forward with this magician energy. But the Queen of Cups here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be you. And I feel like somebody's holding out, waiting for marriage. You have all the tools to, to manifest this, Scorpio. But you're up against some pretty, a pretty tall mountain, okay? No matter, no matter what this is for you, you're up against a tall mountain and you can't, you can't magically make that journey you have to go on that journey you have to do the work because i feel like somebody's doing the work on you all right there there's there's somebody here who has manifested you from magic from the law of attraction so make sure that that is your total wish fulfillment we got sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio and scorpio again with this Two of Cups, you're coming into the realization or someone else is coming into the realization that you are or they are the Two of Cups, which is equal give and take, soulmate energy. This is what you both were wishing for and spirits here to knock down the tower, to knock down the walls that separate you. So this is this is pretty pretty uh intense there Scorpio. Now let's clarify this ace of potions or this ace of cups because we've got the three of swords and the ten of wands and the seven of pentacles here. Okay, page of pentacles. So there is a new offer coming in in the future. Let's see what it, ah, I knew it, I knew it. A codependent relationship, Scorpio, be very, very aware of this because this, this energy is not what it seems, I'm, I want to say. This energy is very codependent, kind of like a, a An entity attached to someone. The offer is good, but four of pentacles on the bottom. This is somebody who is scrounging for change. <laughs> I mean, this, this is somebody who is who's got it really rough right now financially. So remember that when 
this person comes in because that, like I said, this is a codependent energy. They're willing to give their love to you. Now, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Queen of Cups twice. So you could be dealing with another water sign. But I got Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius. We got a little bit of everything on the board here. But we got a lot of you. A lot of Scorpio energy here. And that's Capricorn. Oh, 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 oh. Scorpio, be careful with this person, okay? They are out to hurt you, especially financially. I, I want to say this is a home record. All right, I, I, I don't know what that means to you, but that's what I feel like this person is. It's like they're a show off. They, they look like this, but they're really this. And they're trying to get this from you. Your home, your stability, your groundedness. This is also 11-11. But they're trying to take this from you, Scorpio. So be well aware of who this person is when they come in. They've used magic to get to you and everybody's doing that right now i don't know what that's all about what is all why is everybody trying to practice ma magic i mean it just doesn't make sense because if you don't know what you're doing it's going to backfire on you big time whoever's doing this needs to stop right now because it's going to backfire on them Like I said, it could be a cross watcher that, that's got this energy. But they're not being upfront or honest with you. They're giving you energy that you're they're fill, they're fulfilling your wishes. They're giving you what you want. Taurus energy here. They're making it sound like they are the king of pentacles when they are they're codependent. Alright? There might be three people here looking at an empress. Yep. Somebody wants to be you, Scorpio. There is the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's working towards trying to make you make a choice quickly. And you're guarded against this, which is a good thing. Ten of Wands is clarified by Three of Cups, Empress, and the Knight of Cups. You don't do this to an Empress, guys. She will walk away from you, and it will be over. Okay, Ten of Wands. She will walk and take her love where she is more appreciated. If you're going to bring this kind of energy... This is not a group setting for this empress. She is love incarnate. She doesn't have anything to prove to anybody and she bows to no one. So all these other people I feel like are trying to get under her skin, but she's remaining in her power, which is gorgeous. Awesome Scorpio. So whether you fall for this or not, I guess is going to be up to you. Just saying. I do believe you have two choices here. This is this is your two choices. You have two choices of what you want to manifest here for your best celebratory outcome. Okay? Which is Quite wonderful. You're going to keep working at it until you get it. Oh, wow. There's only one card there? Yeah. The tower moment you're in right now is you're fighting with somebody. It could be a Pisces or a Gemini. That's got you stuck. 
You know, this, this tower came in. This is a fight that you didn't expect. You get the tower twice here. And the three of wands tells me that you're taming that lion. You're enlightening yourself about who you really love. What makes you feel like home? What makes you feel loved? Okay. Wow. Pretty intense reading. Let's throw a couple, couple of uh, twin flame cards out. This was this was an intense reading. Spirits advice, the spirits advice here. Rebuild. Somebody is not showing their true feelings. They they're hiding, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive persistence, and working on it. So what I'm feeling with that is. You keep repeating the same thing over and over with the same person and expecting you to get a different outcome. Stand in your power, Scorpio. Stand in your power. Make the right choices for you. Okay? Well, that's all I have for you this time. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye. Oh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.